Sox top of 12 5 5 Maglio Ordonez puts his bat on the ball Kevin Stalker to Tony Grappanino newbie dropped it but still Chris Singleton called out at second Jerry Manuel arguing with Bill Miller the up it's coincidence not irony Manuel is asked to leave K takes the hill Dean Palmer Kurt plug Palmer executes the beautiful two-handed chest pass with the helmet like dogs to meet the players swarm oh the humanity Check out Weaver in the blue T-shirt. He's out there, comes out of the dugout, gets into the melee, and now we have arrows. Rob Thick hits Bill Seamus with the haymaker. Bobby Higginson going after Keith Folk. Blood was spilled at Comiskey on Saturday. Folk damaged. Check out Higgy. Throws the elbow on Parquet right there. It was ugliness. The umpires, they would huddle up and declare martial law. Thick waves to the crowd with the middle finger, or maybe he was ordering a beer. Yep, beer. A one two to Durham. He struck him out. Durham fires outside. Brian O'Neill says that's been a strike all day, and it is now two. Goodbye. Do not argue balls and strikes, and as soon as you do, you're out of the ball game. I think it's what you said earlier, their attitude on the right side of the deck. I was, hey, that guy's good enough without yeah. the help of those pitches off the plate. And we've talked for years, Jerry, about the, the need. We've been begging umpires, please expand the strikes on the call more strikes. But and zip. Same score, Sosa. Look out. Elbow, got him. Hunter Wendelston says, foul ball. Sammy says, right here, and he gets his base. What do you see? Proof positive. The scuff mark. Out comes Jerry Manuel. What did you see? What are you looking at? Never came close to the back. Hudson and Mark Burley squaring off. Burley. The Sox have four to one walks. Frank Manichino in a close pitch, and Jerry Manuel's going to have a few words, and then he's going to get his money's worth, and then he's going to get tossed. Week in Cleveland, Jerry Manuel called the team meeting after Friday night's loss that resulted in eight earned on runs in Saturday's loss, and things boiled over in the fifth inning when home foot umpire Phil Cousy called that Danny Wright pitch a ball. White Sox manager Jerry Manuel chirping from the dugout, and Cousy, get out of here! Jerry Manuel puts the mild and mild manner, gets his two cents worth, and later Cousy tossed his third base coach, Wallace Johnson. Yeah, you get out, too. Bottom of the seventh. Still top six, Doug McKay, which are two on and one out. Paul Canerco. Fields, throws, Corey Koski, safe at home. Mark Johnson doesn't get the tag. Jerry Manuel comes out and then says, get out. Hunter Wendelstadt throws him. Rocky Bidlin in the sixth. Three season. Christian Guzman for the Mike Twins. Denver. One out into the game. We got controversy. Called safe by Doug Eddings, and Jerry Manuel loses his cool uncharacteristic, uncharacteristically. Eddings gives him the gate. Look what happened. You see he tags him, Arrow, before the bag. Is touched by the foot, arrow. But, you know, obviously the umpires have the benefit of the arrows. The Nern dropped his ERA to 205. Eighth inning, Carlos Lee making the blooper reel. Gibbons going to go to second to force out Frank Thomas. And that's going to bring out Jerry Manuel. Told you the Sox were on the defensive. Manuel going to leave early. But the Sox hold on to win it. one nothing. Well, Morpheus is a lefty, though. Kids are getting creative in the back. Now the eighth, Ordonez facing Jorge Julio, and he hits Ordonez. So top nine White Sox retaliate. Bartolo Colon says, forget the complete game. I got my guys back. Jerry Harrison Jr. not happy about it. Colon, eight innings pitch, five hits, two runs. Harrison had to be restrained. Colon ejected. White Sox manual, Jerry Manuel ejected as well. The White Sox going to win it 8-2. 380 slugging percentage. Bottom five, Sandy Alomar up with one on. He bunts down the line. Eric Hensky picks it up and tags Joe Creedy. Call safe at first, but umpires confer, and they call Creedy out. Let's take a look at it. Close call. Jerry Manuel comes out to argue, and umpire Angel Hernandez says, not only was he out, but so are you. He's still playing. He and Dusty Baker. Matt Ginter comes in for the White Sox, and he hits Carlos Beltran. So home plate umpire Mark Wagner throws out Ginter. Jerry Manuel has to go with him. That grabs the outside corner for strike three, and Graffinino is hot. Right up and into the face of Mike DeMuro. Unfortunate not to be run from the game. As he strikes out here for out number two. That ball looked like it surrounded home plate. 
Take another look. It certainly starts out outside. Ooh, that's a. <laughs> I don't think you can blame uh, Graffinino there for a, a mild argument. And somebody's been thrown out of the game. Emmanuel has popped out of the dugout here, and Lickmer appeared to make the motion that somebody was run. Uh, Jerry Manuel, uh, he's been upset all night long with Demuro, and finally he gets to heave home. Watch this. Victorino comes back and runs into Delgado. Well, Reyes, I'm sorry. See, he runs back into Reyes. So, Guy's instruction call against Reyes, which allows Victorino to reach second base safely, and Jerry Manuel out Gary? to argue. You know, the, the, and Jerry's making the right call. Is that if you make contact of uh, uh, Victorino with, with Reyes, as you see Jerry going at it, and he has been ejected. And now he's going to get his money's worth, and he might have just uh, headbutted. Giants six, Mets six, last of the eighth inning. Jerry Manuel, the manager of the Mets, was ejected from the game as Carlos Beltran was. Arguing with that man that played up by Doug Eddings and then Eddings told Jerry Manuel oh, go, go back in the dugout and then he tossed him. Well, let's take a look at it. This is a little comeback fastball. Mm, it certainly had the plate coverage. Almost middle of the plate. He, David Wright just saw that pitch is down. And now Jerry Manuel has been thrown out. He's been barking at Wolf for most of the game. Well, let's take a look. Let's see. No, oh, he didn't even, even tag him. Not even close. It looked like it was close. He didn't get him. No, not no. even close. That's the phantom tag. I mean, how bad an angle could he have had? I mean, that was there was so much daylight between the glove and the helmet. Oh, and there he gets himself run. You knew he wanted to get thrown out there. Max strikes out Jose Reyes. Reyes would be ejected, as would Mets manager Jerry Manuel by Laz Diaz. So the Mets without their starting shortstop. Game now tied at one. Bases loaded, nobody out. Scott Rowland appears to foul tip the ball into the glove of Rod Barajas. Dusty Baker comes out to argue it. Looks like he actually got hit in the arm. The umpires discuss it, and they overturn the call. It's a hit by pitch. Brandon Phillips scores. It's now 2-1 Reds. Frustration for Jerry Manuel. He gets tossed. Later in the frame, two on, two out. Luis Castillo with a grounder toward short. Now he's going to be called out on this play, but take another look. Clearly Castillo gets to the bag in time before the throw is in Loney's glove. So Jerry Manuel comes out to argue, but to no avail, Doug Eddings tells him take a seat in the clubhouse.